Welcome to day three in our Penang Georgetown adventure. Today is day three and I already don't have nothing else to do. The last thing that's left here is Penang Hill. We're just gonna go check it out. So we made it to the entry of the Penang Hill. The place is pretty dead. I mean, kind of like the whole town. Let's go buy the ticket. And this long line over there. Ticket. Okay, all right. So the entrance was six dollars. For residents, it's like two and a half dollars. The guys here working are so bored. This way. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I mean, I can't imagine just sitting all day doing nothing. Looks like. Oh no, I'm not the only one. There's actually some people there. It's a bit too many people, so I'm pretty sure they've been waiting for a while here. Ooh, I think it's a train with a nice view. The same way in country named Georgia, you can get on train and go up the hill. surrounded with complete jungles 700 something meters above sea level which is pretty crazy got another youtuber right here look at this the nature a lot of good things about these type of places is the nature is always safe oh my god i feel like i'm in rio de janeiro <laughs> I'm in the island, boy. That is crazy. That is a view. Oh my God. It's like Rio de Janeiro. It's cool. For the amount of work they did here and the view, this is definitely worth its money. There's birds. I, I saw a monkey a bit too. Like always. But the coolest part is that you can hear the birds chirping and all that. You know, when I visit a place like this, I just like to sit down. And I'd be sitting for a while, like a cool 15 like to 30 minutes. I'd just be thinking. It's crazy how from here you can see our building where I think it's all the way over there. But yeah, life is crazy, honestly. Like you see all this slide, and there's a mountain, and because of the mountain, nobody lives here, there. I mean, you see all these people living, and then there's this one guy right there. This one special guy right there. It's gonna be us one day. When we have playing money, you know, we're just gonna do things like that, just buy a house in the middle of nowhere, build it, or we'll buy some land and build a house in the middle of nowhere and just visit it once a year. Right. Look at this. We made it even hard, higher. Thiru Murugan Temple. There's a playground, there's also a mosque over there, behind this. Here's the temple. The walls and everything. It's in such a detail. There's so many colors. From this side of the hill you can see the other side of the island, which is mostly just jungles and things like that. I wonder how many wild animals there are here. Because I know Malaysia is known for having a lot of dangerous wild animals. And you can hear them from there. Well, let's go up the stairs to the mosque. I think this is the highest point of this hill. There's a guy doing some work over here. Here's the mosque. Pretty simple mosque. There are monkeys here. I've never seen these dark monkeys like that. 
That is crazy. Which one do you recommend? The best sellers would be the Pawn Star, Beacon, and also an Umbrella. So you might want to take this before I sold it. Not beer yet? I sold that for the week. Okay, okay, I'll do the not beer yet. Do that? All right. Yeah, thank you. Have any beer? I'll take it away. I'll eat here. I can All eat right, right here? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. And the drinks will be inside. You know what? The drinks will be inside. Okay. Uh, okay, right. Okay, okay, thank you. So, you gotta get some tacos. Two tacos for like six dollars. This is like US prices, but it's lamb, very good. By the way, this place is called Pablo's. It's a little mini truck. And they also have a little bar behind me, or like a coffee shop that sells drinks. Two rings for water. I'm starving. Alright, so we got our tacos. Those are the beer you size. Lamb. Let's try this. I'm definitely not getting cool with this, but... Ooh, it's very, very, very hot. You know what gets me mad more than anything is when you're super hungry and the food is super hot. But they look juiced up. For $6? I don't know about that, Chief. I just burned my tongue, but those are some pretty good tacos. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, those were the best tacos I've tried. Even the better tacos than we have in the United States. But the thing is, they were $6 for two tacos. Tacos in America are cheaper. You can find easily tacos for $2 or one. But then those were like birria tacos with lamb. The sauce was delicious as well. So yeah, I give, taste-wise, I give it 10 out of 10. Malaysia, because I can get a whole meal for like a three dollars, like a nice plate of food. But for that, for three dollars, I only got one taco. Two dollars, I mean six dollars for two tacos. Did I get full? Yes. Look at this food. How fast is that cooked? Guys, for two dollars. I don't even know what these noodles come with, but I trust them. Where we should have been eating. I want to show you something. This place, right? Completely empty. The menu looks good to me. They have everything you want rice, chicken, whatever, noodle soup, fried rice, all that. But then you go right next to it. First, you're going to see a little barbershop. I don't know why this looks so funny. But yeah, look at this line. They literally have full house. Full house and still lying outside. I wonder what this place is known for. I don't even see no Michelin stars right here. Only since 1965. I promise you the food tastes there the same way it tastes in the place right next to it. Go back at the nightlife. Oh, the in Georgetown. Let me see. I don't even want to go inside because I know it's dead or old people having fun. I'm gonna let them have their fun because I don't feel like I would fit in there. I mean, I could, but I don't want to. Some people be vibing here. Let me show you guys. There's Indian music over there and old American right there. They have this nice stand. This is the menu.
roti bread is pretty good. And he got my burger. This is what you call a sweet food. When you get a burger and a shawarma for four dollars. Loud music and everything going on. I don't need the shawarma here. He stuffed it up. Chicken, lettuce, sweet and spicy, mayo. The road is delicious. For the price, I give it 9 out of 10. I don't know why I don't eat this every day. Delicious. While I'm enjoying my food, it started pouring outside. Three days in a row. Been raining. Same in Malaysia, every day it rains. Hey, but it keeps the country green. Well, here it is. My end of third day in this Georgetown, Malaysia. If you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you. Goodbye.